In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants, and you know why? Good, this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. That's racist. I don't like this guy. Who the fuck is he? He immediately calling out monsters, bro. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? You think that monsters wouldn't pay? No, Who the hell are you? <laughs> you know what? Muse is actually making this scene way more intense. We're just fucking talking. We're just yapping, but I feel the aura. It can't be this serious, man. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Muse, you get impressed. Kingdom of Gastone. Yeah, what happened? I thought Almicia and Gazelle clutched. You know what? The fundamental problem is that these idiots only trust in the minted dwarf coins. Why don't we just monopolize our violence and then make sure that our coins... Why don't we print our, our coins? Why do we have to let Big Bro Gazelle be the main distributor of the coins, huh? No. How about we make our own coins? Slime coins. That boy thick. What's your advice, bro? <laughs> ah! Rotsos! I see, I see! Okay, he's sent by them! Fate my ass, bro. Oh. <laughs> Yo, look at the CGI coins! Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, we came in with the press report. <laughs> Damn, I thought that Rotso set us up. I thought that the merchants realized that they cannot fight with brutality and power. So instead, let's make them look bad by making us not like a monster, like a monster nation scammed everybody. Oh my god, the festival was fraudulent, but no, no, no. We got our money and we're going to make sure the news reporters are all here to pay witness and then make headlines out of this. That appraises it? It can't be! You're looking bad, Muse. Yeah, take your money, get the fuck out of here. Surely Muse is not gonna go down this easy, right? What else are you gonna do? はははは、さすがはリムル陛下。これほどの金貨をいただ、国際法を守っていただけるなら文句はくだされば。Alright。それは遠慮させてもらう。Banned. <laughs> you guys are banned off of what though? Right? Well, uh, there must be like a valid reason. それは遠慮させてもらう。Bridge is burnt. Ah. They were racist about it in the beginning, right? They did hint that, like, surely a nation of monsters such as you, you know, would pay, right? Like, surely you would. So, like, based off of those, you know, discrimination, I think that it's all. I think this is totally justified. And like, the craziest thing about this is the implications of what happens in the future when Tempest does become like, economic capital of the world, you know? Like this entire world is gonna, the economy is gonna be based on this place alone. And you have been banned from doing trade. It's basically like you're banned doing trade with the United States of America. You're fucking cooked. Like, everyone depends on Tempest now. And then these people are just like banned. You gotta do your own shit separately, like that is... That is crippling. What are you going to do about it? I don't care.
Let's make our own council, bro. Fuck all these pre-existing organizations that's probably so corrupt. Let's make our own stuff. Slime coins and our own organizations. Yeah, let's go! Mjolnir just sniffing the money. <laughs> Mjolnir is like... <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be so fucking rich, bro. I am so lucky, bro. Like, I am, like, the fucking guy for, like, Remuda right now for the whole economy stuff. Like, we're fucking in for the long run, baby. The cash cow will keep fucking printing money. Yeah, we can. You don't need a middleman. That's right. It's gonna look bad on them, right? Known as, like, these dudes, Gaston or whatever, right? They fucked up trade with Tempest, which is gonna be an economic hub. It's gonna look so bad, bro. Everyone's gonna turn on you. Damn. Oh, the headlines are already printing, bro. You're cooked. Bye-bye. <laughs> Uh, uh, Diablo at the end! Because, <laughs> like, we can't just kill them. Like, if we wanted to torture them, of course, right? We can abuse your powers and do whatever we want. But then we become a bunch of tyrants, right? And no one wants to work with tyrants. That's not the point here. The point isn't to overpower them with power. But now we overpower them with, like, diplomacy. We cancel the trade with them. You are banned from working with us in the future, and we're going to become an economic hub. Like, this is crippling for them. Get out of here! One day. One day. If we get high transport of goods, right? The railroad. If we can have this shit, like the fucking bullet train or something in Japan, bro. It's gonna be even better. <笑>これも全てはリムル陛下の計画相手を従いたい場合恐怖で威圧するよりも優しく恩を売る方がうだおかげでわしが陛下に取り出してやるとも仕掛けたらあの商人ども次は黒幕が出てくるかとな黒
It's as if he can't fuck it. Like, what's he gonna say? No, he can't. He can't. So it's looking like like Elmisha is giving us funding. She's got like magic science researchers and stuff. Like our R and D is just gonna get better. We have more funding now. The train is be gonna gonna become reality. Dwargon has spirit engineering specifically, and Thalion has magic science. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, the tunnel stuff, right? The rights of whatever land that she owns. That's why we had to go there that one time with Benny and Hakuro. No, just Benny. Was it Hakuro there too? He wasn't. It was Benny and Albus. And Albus got cucked. Poor Albus. Oh, your land. We'll peer pressure you instead. There it is! Hakuro. Be oh. <laughs> oh, Benny. Oh, Benny. Yeah, how old is she again? Do I want to know? I bet his gift, like, born true leader general or some shit, would allow him to be like the perfect fucking strategist in construction too. Somehow, some way, I feel like that gift would help. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hakuru also is pretty happy about it, so okay, he, Hakuru's giving his blessings. <laughs> Oh. This is funny that Grusius is not allowed in the fucking group anymore. Well, right now at this table, because like important people have to be here. Milan's right there. This is where Grusius should be. Just third wheeling, but not at this table meeting. Uh, Queen Muir. Okay. Human and Monster Crow Prosperity Sphere. That's, that, that's a long bumbo jumbo, but at the end of the day, it's like a designated territory where human and monsters, it's like a safe space, like a sanctuary, right? It's a neutral zone. Everyone can chill here, monsters and humans alike. Train! The industrial revolution. Even the clothings are changing, bro. Look at them. Humans and monsters living alike. That's the co-sphere in the future. But it's gonna be interesting because like no matter what in history, every time there has been works to get rid of like discrimination and for people all to get along, there's always gonna be the radical group both on the human and the monster side, right? In this example, that's gonna be against that, right? Like radical like terrorist groups are gonna form being like, no, we are far right, like nationalists for our specific race. Only monsters allowed, only humans allowed. I wonder how they're gonna just like take care of that. Cooperating. Yeah, I'm sure Diablo just like settled that with uh, diplomacy and words only. Yom the Uniter. Wow. Jobs. Amazing. Waku Waku. Yep. When are we gonna get teleportation stuff? When you know what's faster than trains? Just being able to port, just like a waypoint from one location to another. Yep. Lately, I've been watching some random videos late at night that has to do with like 
five deadliest, you know, uh, jobs in the world, 16 most expensive foods in the world and how they're made. And essentially the huge bottleneck is like with like fresh food that takes too long to get to one point to another, like fresh fish caught from Japan, blah, blah, blah. You need, you need to get that shit imported over to your restaurant that you run in America because you want the best ingredients possible without trains like this or, you know, high speed transport. It's impossible. But having that transport ready, like you think it's boring, but like, having goods be transported in like a reasonably fast way it, it, there's more implications than just like a person riding the train and going from point a to point b the new age <laughs> yeah and the new age yo the tenma war bro we're we're progressing too fucking fast the angel's gonna peek down and be like what the fuck is that that a train? You no, know, we can't have that shit. Nice motherfucker, get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Mawari no katagata o mireba, dare datte kyokure shimasu yo. Warui, warui. Waga tomo mo o hanashi ga shitai to. Okay, who are you? Buriado. Buriado. Burumundo o ko atayete kudasatta Rimuru heika ni wa kansha o. Danshaku, katakuroshi aisatsu wa fuyou desu yo. Dewa, osore nagara. Yeah, that's smart, right? Just basically in the era where you don't really have like data, data analytics and different types of like, you know, ways to like engage data. They can just go here. Oh, these different places need goods X, A, B, C, and these other places need X, Y, Z. They can just realize what they need and do efficient transport of goods. そんな役割なのではありませんか。鋭いな。その通りだ。内容。工場談合。でかにオプティマイズ。物流集積地として最適な輸送機構を。します。はっ。ガドラ。ワン。何のことだよ。単純だ。せっかく。Yeah, I know, bro. Everyone's probably like, what the fuck is this idiot talking about? What are the big boys are talking? Come on. No one came to the 100th floor. I was waiting. I practiced like three separate boss intro scene, cut cinematic lines. No one showed up. Why? I'm sorry, man. People are too weak. Yeah. Yeah, and the purpose of last episode wasn't for a whole dungeon excavation time. It was to hype up the event and let the entire world know that, hey, there's a labyrinth and dungeon here. You can, like, show up and try to fight challenging bosses and get good rewards, right? It was an advertisement. It was like a little beta test for the beater, Masayuki, a.k.a. Kirito. Prize money! Oh, yes. True, and then the prize reward money should be based on slime coin, not like whatever different currency that the world currently acknowledges, so that we can just like brute force it. Like, yep. You're gonna clear this shit. Your or your reward is like our specific coin. Please recognize our coin, or else it's pointless. Smart. Nomar is just a genius for money. It'll create an incentive for people wanting to sign up if it's like an ID card through the guild system, right? And people want to challenge the dungeon. And of course, they're gonna go through the one set of system that's required to get to that dungeon. Oh, I didn't think about that prospect either. Now people literally have nothing to do. This dungeon isn't just for a simple event. It's like, all right, you can't really hunt monsters anymore. Well, you can hunt them in the dungeons. How nice! <laughs> what was that? Everyone else, Rimuru was chill about. As soon as Hinata starts talking, he starts freaking out. Because Hinata is super hot to Rimuru still? Or it's rare that Hinata would want to speak out? <laughs> True. The resurrection bracelet. Remove the resurrection bracelet. Let the motherfuckers die. No, what is it? 
西方正教会から司祭を派遣したいと考えていますそれも好意の、oh. That's a huge deal. 神聖魔法の使い手だろう、oh? え好意とも Is it gonna be her boyfriend? Or、oh, not really her boyfriend But the guy that's like the my only god at Hinata でもね経験や研鑽なくして成長はありえないの That's right, it's Nicolaus That's right, it's Nicolaus That's right, it's Nicolaus だからここで彼らに腕を磨かせ神聖魔法による回復治療が受けられるようになるわよ。We can kind of use holy magic. I forget exactly what it was with Luminous's contract, remember? But like that is possible for us too. But Hinata is going to send like a priest over. Not only is it going to help us not abuse the resurrection bracelets so that people can be aware of the dangers in real combat, it also is like. It's like a good look between two nations that might have been enemies. Now you're sending over like an ambassador to kind of stay there, you know? Oh, here it is. That's what it was. That's what it was. Alright, if, if we got step one through Luminous that one episode, then this is the step two. Alright, let's do it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> They're scared. <laughs> They're scared, terrified, even. <laughs> we didn't see him cook the teppanyaki. Did we? He was too busy in the dungeon. <laughs> that whole thing reminded me of Milam. And truly, he is her uncle. That was way too uncanny, like the entire thing. I mean, they, yeah, they do, they do have a lot of. Similar personality traits. This is probably the best Hinata frame I've ever seen. Bro, her eyelashes are extra fucking erect. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Apis Studios wanted to make Hinata just pop in this one frame, bro. God damn. She truly is the beauty, huh? <laughs> Fuck you, you do it. <laughs> Hakuro and Soe look pissed off at Veldora every time. They're like, I'm sick of this motherfucker. <laughs> Storm dragging my ass. This dude annoying. <laughs> like, look at the side eye between both of them. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, this meeting lasted an entire fucking day, bro. Holy shit, the sun is setting. Uh. Oh, music. <laughs> Muse got rolled. Try it if you want to. Mm. Maria Bell tasted the foods. I thought that she might like enjoy our festival and realize that, huh, you know, they ain't so bad after all. But they're like, yep. My suspicions are even more true. They're too dangerous. They're, they're, it's, it's too fun over there. We need to get rid of it now before it spreads. Greed. Why? Wonder what kind of being Maria Bell is to the point where Oji sama would fucking listen to her like this, right? He's greed. And it doesn't really look like, you know, the, the true leader in the room is not him, right? It's Maria Bell. I think Maria Bell is way more important than this guy. And he calls him grandfather. They do share a similar eye, like the purple eye with the rings in it, but the Rotso is just really mysterious. Now, <laughs> there's one theory that I have in mind of why she doesn't want this stuff to spread, which could paint the Rotsos in like a more positive light. Basically, the theory could be Maria Bell is trying to hinder the progress of civilization to prevent another Tenma war from happening. But I don't think that's necessarily the case. She stated that the world is for her, right? She, she's just greedy. She just wants the world and she doesn't want this culture to spread because if it does, then it can no longer be hers. But I don't know. Like, what, why is this lolly just all knowing? Like, clearly, you're not just a regular human. Are you a reincarnation of somebody? I don't know. 
Like, if the simple reason is she just wants the world for herself, I think it would be a very waste of her character, you know? And she did mention, like, a nostalgic sense of culture, exactly, right? She, she mentioned, like, oh, you know, a sense of culture, again, before here. Implying that, like, stuff like this has existed. She's obviously a very, very old, a nostalgic scent of culture, right? And if that shit was... And... I don't know. It, it just sounds like she's a very ancient being that wants the world for herself. But if it's simply just that greed, that's the root cause of her character, then it's kind of boring. Someone like her should be more interesting and have more complexities and be like, there's a reason actually why, you know, this is a nostalgic sense of culture and it used to exist back then, but maybe... She, <laughs> I don't know, fucking Tenma War happened and she feels bad about it and she wants her own way of figuring shit out. Beats me at this point. And boom, bro ain't cooking. This is the most fucking retarded comment you can hear because now you have indirectly spoiled me and everything I've just theorized is now gone. You are a light novel reading retard neckbeard that wants to feel like you're special because you read ahead. You're such an amazing person, bro. Oh my god, the world should bow down to you for reading ahead. I can do this right now. Ready? Ready? Tensura, why does Maria Bell want to take over the world? I can literally do one Google search right now and I get the answer. But that's not the point, is it? That's not the point of this, is it? Just like think before you fucking speak. You are indirectly spoiling by negating everything that has been theorized right now. Just like... The average intelligence, bro. Oh, why can't you realize this? Why can't you realize this? <laughs> Why are you looking this with so confidence? Yeah, we're trash, bro. We got no clout. Yo, should our prime minister fucking be saying that shit? <laughs> they look at each other. Yeah, we trash. We know it. But if the fucking railroad all go through there, then Brumund is very huge. I think that's like a huge power play where now they're optimizing like the distribution of goods as every train, you know, goods pass by Brumund. Is this the ending playing? What just happened here? I was distracted by the music playing in the background. Guilt. That look from Yuki's eyes, maybe it's because I have such a bias against him, I don't feel good about this. Alright, Easter Merchants banned! So now, now that I know they're specific, specifically talking about the Easter Merchants, it sounds like Yuki, obviously, he got a lot of connections over there, so he just fucking bullshit him. He's like, yeah, I mean, listen, I'll try my best, but I can't prevent all my boys from, you know, doing shit with them. Laplace, Laplace, and then Laplace fucked up Roy. <laughs> the best part, I just realized. The, the best, I'm like, who could, what could be, oh, Damrada, Laplace, what's going on? I know what's going on! Ask this motherfucker! He's there! Right beside you! He, him, he did this shit! It's him! Come on! Just... Ah! How can he get away with this shit? How can he get away with this shit? Then it fucking infuriates me! I wonder what's going on, guys. Hmm. Oh, thank God. All right, we're done. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, you... That's, that's the most troll thing. That the whole scene ended with Yuki laughing. Bro, I hate this shit. He probably sitting there like... They got no fucking clue. 
all these idiots and I'm in on it. Oh, they got no fucking clue. I'm getting away with it. <laughs> oh, it pisses me off. <laughs> All right, the pre-meeting is over. The real meeting begins. Wait. <laughs> oh. Wait. The guy cleaning was talking about must have been Yuki. Oh. <laughs> They're getting closer? Hmm. Oh, that's right. He ain't a snitch, bro. Clayman, listen. Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. He's a dumbass, but like, the bond that the moderate Harley Quinn Alliance shared together, I kind of feel for them. Maybe. <laughs> Tear footman <laughs> and Laplace just wearing fucking what? <laughs> fucking rice patty hat? Wow, what a fucking disguise. I bet their ass still have makeup on, just like a regular clown still. Laplace! That's crazy! Wow, Benny, the one who didn't show himself during that big battle. I mean, he wasn't there, but like, damn, right? Because like, Tyr and Footman was there and they fucked up. <laughs> who was it? Phobio, I think, again? That's right. <laughs> That's right, that's right. Laplace wasn't there. Benny Genius. Mm, wait, 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 wait. Yuki came right out and admitted he was connected to the Eastern Merchants. The paper they use at the guild is important. That's crazy levels of detail. Holy shit. The receipts the Myoma is coming up with. Okay. Fuck it, just do it. Low. All right, so at this point, we're not completely oblivious. We have some leads, and it's looking like it's Yuki. But it's not definitive proof, and we can't just confront them. So it's going to be a battle of just passive aggressiveness and until someone slips. Whoa, what the hell? It's their, like, uh, elf magician fucking... Oh, this is so fucking passive aggressive, bro. <laughs> I love this shit, bro. At the very least, we're not unaware. Like, if this ended with us being unaware, it just would have felt so bad. But, like, now we're kind of aware. Yuki's still smiling. None of us are smiling, bro. Rigard looks like he wants to kill Yuki, man. Look at his eyes. So month after all this tempest received a letter council of the west you gonna tell me what the letter <laughs> council of the west sent a letter and the credits start rolling oh reason episode 15 oh peak peak wistoria episode 11 oh peak peak just run the fucking credits and you end the fucking episode and people just gonna glaze that shit. That's pretty much it for Tensura. Give it a round of applause for season three. And the applause is not for this show, but for you guys. It's for you guys that stuck through this anime season because let's get serious, right? Let's just, let's just settle this once and for all. We all love Tensura here, but I don't think that this is the proper adaptation that it's deserving. Yup. I think 8-Bit Studios is 
or lack of better words, fucking mid when it comes to doing the meeting yapping episodes. Just because it's yapping doesn't mean it's bad, nor doesn't mean it's boring. There are ways to make it fucking pop, right? And I did see a transition after part one of season three was over. That's when Irregular Magic High School was also being done by 8-Bit Studios. And my conspiracy theory is that back then the meetings were kind of ass. They were not dynamic. As soon as Mahoka was done and they went to core two, it seems like a little bit more resources padded in. So like the whole setup of the uh, Coliseum, Mjolnir and Rimuru talking to his first yapping episodes, it was very dynamic. The scenes were changing. It wasn't just a PowerPoint presentation. So I'm like, Damn, you know, there, there was ways to do this better. I understand that due to the nature of this series, there is just so much volume of setup and talking that is necessary to set the stage for the future. And I hear that season four isn't really when it starts to pop off, but it's the season after that, right? So we're not really out of the woods just yet, but it is what it is. Season three has concluded. I know that season four hasn't been announced. We'll be checking out a trailer and all that stuff too. And there's a movie. I am going to give this anime season a minimum 7.5 out of 10. It hurts me because Tensura should be easily within like the 8s, if not 9s. But due to the lackluster studio, and it's not Tensura's fault, I'm getting a 7.5 minimum out of 10. Maybe it could be lower, honestly. It's, it's, it's a 7 point something out of 10. I don't think... I don't, there were some peaks, but there was a lot of straggling episodes, and I love this show, but come on now. Don't fucking try to glaze this show and then give him fucking positive signals and be like, Oh, wow, see? The fans loved it! Now we can get away with fucking half-assing this show again? No. No, this should be treated with the labor of love, just like how Reezer is being treated. And that's it from me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.